But from my eavesdropping, I've come to the conclusion that we're starting to worry about way too many things in our world. We've got to relax a little bit. Some of the things we choose to worry about might not be quite as important as we think. And I'll give you an example. Actually, I heard this on the radio. PETA, the group, not the bread. PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. They had their spokesperson on the radio, this lady, she said they want to ban fishing. She said fishing is cruel because fish have the same central nervous system as people, so they feel pain like us. She then went on to say, how would you like it if you were walking down the street and your lip was impaled? And you were yanked out of this environment into a different environment where you couldn't breathe. And I started thinking, well, that would mean that you were a fish! <laughs> because people are way too smart, or we should be, and if we're not, maybe it's better that we're gone. Because <laughs> if you're walking down the street with your buddies, and you see some food on a hook, I think we should be a little bit suspicious anyway if all of a sudden out of the blue there's a sandwich bobbing in front of us. <laughs> Even if you can't see a hook. Check for a bobber. Are you following me a little bit? We're worried about way too many extra things. Sometimes we try so hard to worry, we end up worrying the wrong way. I overheard a couple guys talking about this 940 pound man. First guy goes 940 pounds, that is too bad. The other guy goes, yeah, he almost made it to a thousand. <laughs> and then I started thinking about the PETA lady and if she was correct, there really was something out there fishing for humans. Could you imagine their surprise if they caught that guy? Oh, you know he would be mounted and hanging on a wall. Well, that there's your large mouth, big bellied human. And I caught him on a turkey spinner. And he almost pulled me out of the spaceship. Cult leader pulled me back in. <laughs> <laughs>